Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Elden Ring, shall we? Look at that. We gotta get through that gateway. Cross through what appear to be kind of perverse crucifixion icons, or at the very least just places where they're publicly displaying the punishment and death of some kind of rule breaker to this regime it's just absolutely repellent habit that I hope as Elden Lord to abolish if that's possible and I told myself hey you know what I'm going to do I'm going to go and do the main quest. I'm not going to dilly-dally. I'm going to do this the right way. And I will. But then, I look around. Oh my god. What was that? It's a lightning storm? Whoa. That lightning is striking with ferocity right there. Uh, I told myself... Oh goodness. Boy, that guy on the so the uh, horse with the sword, he might want to ride away. It's not safe for you, buddy. Everybody out of the pool. Lightning coming down. Get off the golf course. But then you look at the game, and it's so inviting and so beautiful. I just want to run around. I just want to see what's there. And test out my new boots. I mean, good God, do you see these boots? My feet are going to have blisters for the rest of my life jamming them into another man's boots a man I killed alright let's see what's over here this looks fun it's nice and ominous when there's a blood stain you like to see blood stains when at all possible uh, I can't make that jump but I can't but can torrent you know it yeah, Torrent can do that. Torrent's like, I can double jump, my good man. Alright, so I'm kind of riding along here. Alright, that's... Uh, I can't take this. Yeah, it is pretty rough, isn't it? I don't know what... Could this be a message? It could be. And let's see. Can I get up here? Torrent is doing great. But I don't know if I can make it up to the top. I don't feel like I can. Unless um, I get there from the other... From up top itself. So I'm just going to jump down. And we're going to just keep exploring. I got to stick stick to the plan. There, There is a plan. There isn't a plan. Hmm... Okay. Oh, I was going to try to jump again. It did not work, and boy, I was injured. All right, let's ride through here and see how fun this is to just go through Stormgate. Now, there's a tombstone on the left. I don't know if that means, like, oh, God, uh, people can come into my game or what the... Uh, that indicator means I'm gonna rest really fast just get my health back it seems wise I'm been injured I'm a middle-aged man in this game I can't I can't take too much let's see what these messages say be wary of giant boss yeah this is about oh gosh there's a big guy indeed oh I was hoping I was out of range heads up you are not out of range right there all right, so what I'm going to do is try to run past. He has jumped down. All right, so the plan is to kind of just run behind so that I can at the very least... Oh, good. My spell did exactly the opposite of what I wanted, uh, but the giant killed those guys for me, so I appreciate that, dude. Oh, no. Please don't. Oh, God. 
Okay. I'm trying to... Uh, oh, boy. This is not... We've got some targeting issues. I'm trying to hit these guys. I have to take out these ranged guys, or I would like to, if at all possible. Oh, nice. I got stuck on the logs. Yeah, this is all right. I'm getting wrecked. Love it. This is what you really love. Getting wrecked. All right. That last bit of targeting by my spell was the stuff of legends right there. Nope. Do not crouch. Please don't. Please stand up. Okay, jump. There you go. Let's run. Let's just run free. I could, I suppose, just run past this guy. I think there's a lot to recommend that. Alright. I have finally killed all of those dudes. And let's see. How is this guy feeling? He doesn't seem to care about my magic. He cares a little bit. Oh, God. That didn't dodge him at all. All right. I think this is a time when we just say, we came, we saw, we conquered, and we ran right by. If I had Torrent, I would ride it. We're going to find out if this is indeed something that this game has... Oh, he's right behind me. He's blowing on his horn. He's like, hey, somebody got past, and I got hit, and stop targeting that guy. Run. 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 Yeah. So in, in normal Dark Souls games, you would not be able to just, like, go past a boss. You know, they would... He's He seems to be kind of hesitating. Like... He killed somebody for me. He killed one of those dudes. Like, he's going to not maybe fight me. He's down there. Is this thing... Is this deer fighting me? No! Are you joking? That ram is like, I want to fight you. Get real, ram. Alright, we're going to just try to be as cheap as possible. Let's see how cheap we can be. We're being really cheap. Oh yeah, that's called exploiting the environment as a spellcaster. <laughs> so he gave us about a thousand. And let's go down there and see what else we can clear out from that area. Take that, big guy. Oh, it's you. It's you guys. Did you see how I just beat up that guy? What, you think you're going to make it? You think you're going to be the dude? I have to say, your armor looks awesome, though. Oh, he refilled my flasks as well when he died. That was so nice of that guy. There's a lot of generosity in this game. Refilling your flasks. They're like, here... Use these restorative items. Thank you. Oh. This guy is going to get fired. He, uh... He was asleep on a job. And then now my flask got refilled again because I killed the group of soldiers. So you kill the boss, you get, uh... a reward of refill. And then... You kill the soldiers and you get a reward. I love it. Love it. Okay, let's just break all these things. Oh boy, that wasn't... That's how you do that. Give me that golden rune. And there's mushrooms and things to pick up. I want to explore this full area. What is this? Beware of sentry. Indeed. He's the guy that blew the horn, I believe. Attracts new allies. We were not wary. We messed up horribly. I did badly on that fight. But then I cheesed the environment and outsmarted that giant. That's what we're going to call it. Big-brained 
the giant. He's like, I shouldn't have jumped down from up there. Now he's... Oh, we got a heavy crossbow. Now he's down there. What's this? Lump of flesh. Yeah. Well, that wasn't... I was hoping for, like, some kind of really, really choice item. I didn't get anything from doing that, except I get... I suppose, except I got past it. So he's not really a boss. I'm guessing a boss in this would still probably lock you in. Ah, someone has put a clever message up here to destroy your dreams. Fantastic. Alright, so... Let me uh, call Torrent and see what's up here. So this bridge was caused by the destruction of a ruin. Okay. And just kind of riding around. Seeing what's available. There's lots of crafting materials to pick up. We did it. So now we can ride through, and I don't have any problem using the next uh, site of grace that I find and replenishing the bad guys there because I made it. Wow, look at the breeze blowing by. It's beautiful. What's this? Golden seed. Oh, this is what you use to uh, boost your flask charges. That's awesome. I got another charge. All right. God, amazing. I mean, look at the trees just getting whipped around. Now, let me look at myself on the map. Okay. So, I made it through. And if I were to follow the road, I would get myself over here, perhaps, to where Gideon is. This is going this way. I'm just kind of glancing around to see if there are any um, sites of grace nearby. I'm using my telescope right now. And they would... I would be able to see the wisps of light, I do believe. Were anything immediately obvious. There's the road. There's a house. There's where I got the seed. And there's the bridge. Some birds. Okay. I, I still need to figure out the way to get out of the telescope without doing an action. See, I pushed X that time because, as you remember, the last time I pushed circle to get out of the telescope to cancel viewing, uh, I jumped backwards off of a cliff and died. And so I was like, let's just try X. And you know what X did? It made me jump. Bows. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can equip two types of arrows to choose from at once when wielding a bow with two hands hold l1 for precision aiming use the right stick to adjust your aim r1 fires arrow type 1 and r2 fires arrow type 2 cool i don't think you could do that as easily in the previous games oh okay well here we go i'm actually going to change to arc and try to hit them both okay i got one of them And then let's see about Pebble on this guy. There we go. Oh, he's standing over there. Okay, yeah, 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 you can do that. You gonna refill my flasks? It's only it's only right. They didn't. I would appreciate it. Alright, let me see. There must be some more. So what I'm gonna do is preemptively I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna figure out the flow of the game. I'm gonna preemptively use my flasks. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that if I do fight another wolf and get my flasks refilled, potentially, then they won't just be wasted. Like, I'll have charges that actually need replenished. And what is that? Is that a rabbit or something? Okay, yeah, it's just like a... some kind of random animal. All right, I thought maybe that was my missing wolf. It is not. All right, let's look around. Anything happening around here? There's some mushrooms. All right, now, they were telling me about bows, maybe to fight the, the wolves. Is there anything that's... Uh, 
Oh, here's a side of grace right here. There's, you can see all the light. Let me just jump off the old horse and touch it. Well, this is another way to replenish. There's a samurai. Dude looks awesome. I'm going to rest at the site of grace. And the reason I'm doing this is because I can um, go to my flask and I can add a charge to the flask. And I will. And then I'm going to allocate my flask charges. And I'm going to go to four and two like that. Okay. Um, cancel. Level up. I have enough to level up. And so we've kind of determined that intelligence is is tapering off, at least at the moment. And so I'm going to keep going with endurance to boost up uh, my not only my defense, but my ability to wear some slightly heavier armor. I do enjoy that. As you can see, I'm a clumsy player. And so being able to take that extra hit, not just with hit points, but with heavier armor is always helpful. This is a good item. What is this? It's a stone sword key. All right, so we got an important key from this guy who has a crown who looks like some fallen noble. And, oh, there's somebody in here. It's another merchant by the red and white garb. Maybe not, though. Um, oh, come on now. Everyone's been grafted. Oh, she has her Everyone face who came visible. Me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. She's <laughs> not a merchant. Their arms taken. Their legs taken, even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? No. You're grafted by the spider. You become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. It is. I kind of wish you didn't tell me about that. Um, I could have used not knowing. But I knew get a new pose called sitting sideways, which is awesome. You're all on your own. Yeah, I am. Heading to Stormvale Castle. I guess. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Yes. Well, you've come to be one with the spider. No, that that well, isn't. That makes us two peas in a pod. We're not peas in a pod. I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off, or legs, or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I think it's I'm cool to be your own. Like craven. No, not at all. I think it's totally fine in this instance to be your own uh, Red Riding Hood, you know, as it were, and just not hang out with the spider who wants to take your arms, legs, head, or all. Uh, so I'm not going there for that reason. I'm going there for other reasons. You see, I'm a tarnished on a quest to get the Elden Ring, and so I follow wisps of golden light. I'm sure you understand that. It, It's just, you know, just kind of the natural thing that people do in my position. All right. Let me look at the old map here. And now, ooh, look at this. The, the light is going this way to the front of the castle. All right, I will go that way, but first... I'm going to be my obstinate self because I'm an obstinate individual. And I'm going to go ahead and crack this. Give me that sweet gold. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see if I can craft anything just for the fun of it. I actually want to make some of these, all right? So I'm going to make um, four. Four fire pots. I don't really care about darts, um, but I'm going to use these fire pots, and I'm going to equip them as items. Uh, let me see my in my inventory. Mm-hmm. So I have Lone Wolf Ashes. Yeah. I got some Smithing Stones. I got uh, this thing. I still don't know how to use that or what it even does, but I have it. Does that help? Not really. Okay. Um, 
I'm wearing all heavier armor. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let me go into my... Oh, maybe, maybe what I do is I put it in my equipment. Like, I would put... Well, first of all, I could put this here if I wanted. Can I put, like, arrows, bolts... Just bolts go here. What about in this slot? Can I put anything... Um, the reason I can't use a crossbow is because I don't have uh, the strength to hold it, and that's fine. Let me see what I can put over here, though. Alright, I'm going to put this in my item slot. So this will now cycle between these items. For better or worse. It might mess me up, but maybe not. Alright. Now, here come some guys on the road. They look friendly. Very friendly. I'm just going to say hi to them in the nicest way that I can. Look at that. That's the arc. Just doing work. We got a dagger. Got some gauntlets. Heck yeah. I kind of want to dress like that knight. He looks pretty cool. Now this is not the way that they are recommending to go based on the light. And it's very dark and windy. What does this say? It's like a dream. Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, look how big that bridge is. That's always something that strikes me about these Souls games, is just the scale of the structures. They make you feel so minuscule, powerless. Um, oh, there's bats. Okay, let's just give him Pebble. Uh-huh. Any more? Yeah, there's some more. All right. That didn't go far enough. Hey, Batman. Oh, man. This guy is going miles away. Look at him. Where are you leading me? What kind of patrol route do you take? My goodness. That was not a waste. That was totally necessary. All right, um... There's just regular animals. This isn't a bat, I don't think. It's just some kind of like... Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm going to get out my uh, buddy. And let's ride around. Hmm. Okay, there's some big statues up here. And there's one of the... Uh... This guy looks like he's alive. Hi. Uh... Or this gal, um, are you okay? Likely strange sort, all the more try love. Aw. Hi, can I talk to you? Can I not talk if I'm on my horse? You. Please. I can read them. Read what? Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Um show hands. Yeah, your bells are very big. Oh, bless you. Oh, oh. Head to the fountain of gold tarnished. Okay. Traverse Rhea Lucaria Glintstone Eventide and reunite the half crescents at the Grand Lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only... Why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Okay. You want to go through that way? Um... You Oh, yeah, you already read it. So maybe she just kind of... 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't need my fingers. You already saw them. Maybe what she does is just help you, like if you need to know where to go. So she's telling me I need to go to the Grand Golden Foundation and get some elevator going. That makes sense. I do like elevators. Let's see what's over here. There's a lot of messages. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You get the best kind with the message people in this game. Yeah, there is something. This dude is nearly dead. The Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 7. So cool, we got some more stuff we can craft. Uh, try left. Maybe that's good. We'll have to... Def I don't know if you're trying to get me killed or if that recommendation is helpful. Oh yeah, maybe there is a way to get into that passage. Should I risk everything doing that? Well, the problem is, if I drop down there, I don't know if I get out. But I can always just teleport, right? So can I make that jump? Boy, I wanna, I wanna try. Oh God, I did not make the jump. And the good thing is, it wasn't even close. I zigged when I should have zagged. All right. Well, that was a great adventure. Let's get back there. Let me get my body. I do want to explore that lower area a bit. It seems pretty cool. I love exploration deaths in, in these games. I get so many of them. Oh, okay. And we got Ash of War Wild Strikes. So, you know, maybe I have to... Oh, that's that's the way to the castle. I'm not ready for that. Maybe what I have to do is be at a smithing place, and then what I can do is use those, like, Ash of War Wild Strike or whatever that stuff is on my weapon then? I really don't know. Now, I know I can use ashes to summon spirits if I need help, uh, but part of the issue is that I don't know how many of those ashes I have. There's my corpse. It's a little easier in the daytime. It's great that there's a night and day cycle in this game, by the way. Clearly, the influence, or one of the primary influences, is the Witcher, and that's just great. Good influence. And yet, they were able to take that influence and not, um, you know, be overwhelmed by it and, and lose the identity of a Souls game. Because everything about this still feels like a Souls game. Uh, what does this say? Oh, God. That was almost some bad writing. Well done. Thank you. All right. And what's over here? Bug ahead. That way? Oh, they pointed. Cool. Oh, I see it. And we got Ashes of War Storm Wall. Okay. No good luck ahead. I got mushrooms. Could this be a dragon? I don't know. Dastard, oh dastard. All right. And there's a little guy down here. Hello. Try gesturing. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes secrets are obtained by gestures, uh, but I don't pretend to have any idea about what those might be here. Oh, is this a hidden passage? It looks like it. Where am I going? What am I doing? Who am I? Am I off the map? No.
Let me just make sure there's nothing down there. Nothing that I can see. All right, Torrent. Jumping. Not falling off, though. Not ready for that. Oh, God. Stuck in the tree. We had a little detour into the tree. All right, let's see what's over here. And there's some things on the ground. One thing that I like to do in um, in these games is just every once in a while push R3 if you're not sure, and it will target things. And if there is some kind of enemy that's, like, hiding, you will get a better indication. Be wary of enemy and then praise the message. All right, thank you. See, um... Now, there's stuff in here, right? But they're little guys. So we're not on the, the large enemy. I'm going to get off the horse so that I can have better precision. I'm going to use my flask so that I'm at full magic. And then I'm going to kind of... There is something up here. Try fingers. Uh, close. Oh, so I think what they mean by fingers is like summon an ally to help you, maybe. This is a small guy. Be wary of strong foe and then praise the message. All right. So there is a strong foe over here. So let's go get killed. I always like to uh, get wrecked. See what's over here. There's a, an eagle or something. All right. So there's little guys, little guys. Praise the Elden Ring. Indeed. Love the ring. Huge, huge on the ring. All right. Oh, okay. So you have to... Is that mist up there? Or where is the foe? Eh. Uh, hard to see. Man, look how creepy this is. The entire world seems to be turning sideways. We're getting on bloodstains, though. If only I had an Elden Ring. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, there's birds. I don't see anything above me. And a little guy. Let there be bloodstain, by the way. Why is it always jumping off? That's funny. Alright. Um, trap ahead. Okay. Visions of liar. Yeah, somebody probably said you could jump off there. God, this is so ominous. Look at the wind pulling me out. Is there something behind me? I don't see it. What am I doing? I'm exploring a mountain range. Alright, now here's some bigger stuff. But there's some wolves. Oh no, there's a dead animal. Which is what? Giving me a clue that something sinister is ahead. There's a wolf. Okay. Wolves. Oh, this wolf is alive. I thought you were dead. Oh, man. I didn't think you were going to get a hit on me like that. Shame on me. Alright. I didn't really mean to kill that wallaby thing. Alright. Why is it always a pack? I actually don't mind a pack. Because that means that, uh... Oh, no, they already came and restored my flasks. Okay. All right, let's look around. Yeah, this is me in these games, just walking one step at a time, being terrified. You know the usual. Uh, anything behind me? Nope. And there's wallabies around. Tie me kangaroo down, mate. All right. 
And more wolves, okay. That's totally fine, to be honest. Hey, you singing? Oh, that didn't hit him. Okay, here. One. Two. Three. And Wolf the Towling. It's just looking at me. There's my Flask's pet. We'll take it. The effects of, like, the trees whipping around in the wind are really excellent. This is called Lyurnia of the Lakes. All right, so we're in a new region. Now if I go on the map, yep, I'm clearly off the map. Now, she said the bridge was out, and she said that I could, like, go through the castle. I've kind of circumvented it. I've taken the roundabout. Let's see if there's anything for me in terms of a sight of grace. It'd be amazing. Um, I'm here. Nothing to target. Praise the Erd Tree. Uh, can you see it from here? I can't quite. Alright. Uh, acquire material. Sure. Give me that fruit. Uh-huh. All right, anything going on here? Wow, look at this. Unbelievable. There is the Erd tree, and then look at all this landscape. I mean, look at that castle. That cathedral. This is a spectacular game. Oh, my, and that forest down there. I'm going to have fun slogging through that. Danger around every corner. Alright, um, I think I can get Torrent back out. Oh, there's a light. There's a, a sight of grace up here. I, I'm always worried about Torrent in places like this because I don't want to accidentally ride off a cliff. Fantastic. Let's get off. And let's touch that grace. Let me rest and see if I can level up. See how close I am to the level up. Oh, she's back. Forgive me. I've been testing you. What does that mean? To determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. If okay. you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. Oh. It seems my worries were unfounded. Yes. The torrent had your measure from the very start. Indeed. Whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing. What do you mean, pretended? I can do to offer you guidance. What's that? I can take you to the Round Table Hold. What's that mean? place of tarnished champions, guided by Grace. Okay. Uh, I'll go too. I don't have Very a choice. Well. Let my hand rest upon you, for but a moment. Okay. Um. Is this an exciting place? We're, we did a handshake. And we're in Round Table Hold. The Round Table Hold is a place where tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non aggression. Oh, it's like the, uh, the sanctuary is in John Wick. This rule is in effect when the Round Table icon is displayed. The round table hold is located outside of this world. It can only be reached through sites of grace. Can also be accessed by using the map to travel. Okay. I'm in here. I made it. What in God's name is this? Uh, we can rest here, I guess. And I can level up. And if I go into... Let's say I went into endurance like one more. I don't know how high I want to get with endurance. But I'm going to go back. Oh, intelligence. It's just such a little return. Um, I mean, that's not a lot of mana, to be honest. What do I want to do? Mm-mm-mm. Eh, I'll put a point into Vigor for now and just get myself some health. Nothing wrong with hit points. Okay. 
And there's a way up the steps. And, oh, it's that lady I met who wants to be one with the spider. She's here. Cool. And there's messages everywhere. And then there's um, this guy. And there's a lot of people it looks like I haven't met out there on the road that have come here. And this is an awesome location. I'm excited to explore this, but... Uh, we'll get into that next time. This is a great place to stop. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll check you next time when we explore the Roundtable Hold. Take care.